Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Leon from No More Lines. This video will show you how to display the status bar within Microsoft Excel using VBA. Now the good thing about the status bar is that you can basically use it to update and prompt your user with information that's relevant to uh, a subroutine or procedure that, that you're performing. So like for example, if you're doing a count or if you're doing some sort of analysis on information or even if you're um, you want to show somebody the status of a particular subroutine or procedure you can use the status bar to actually update it and um, the code for it is really really simple so I'll show you real quick what it looks like so basically the status bar you access it by typing in application dot status bar equals and then from there, you can basically set the uh, the equals to whatever you want. It's able to accept both text and also parameters as well. So uh, the first one I'm going to show you is that it's going to put in the current time. And I'm going to step through this and I'm going to show you. So basically, when I start the subroutine, uh, the status bar is going to tell me the current time. And the, cur and the time is actually going to be a variable. Um, since there's no option explicit, I don't have to uh, define the variable. And then basically, as you see, the current time is going to put the exact time that, that I have there. And um, also, I'm going to show you that, that there are a couple different ways to clear the status bar out. Uh, you can do it equals to uh, null or actually empty. This is actually uh, considered empty or blank. Uh, the second one is an empty field itself and null so all three of them actually work the same way so as i step through this again i'm going to show you that i can actually put a date in here and you see that it puts the current day and i can clear it out with the empty and also too the now function is a, a date and time function so it puts a date and time there as well and as you can see i can actually clear it out with null and as i said you can actually pass um you can pass a uh, constants, you can pass a uh, a parameter or even uh, variables in, into this particular uh, field. And then you can keep calling it and it can keep actually updating it. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that code in the description box. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please be sure to like the video, share with others, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.